And of course, I was interrupted by two phone calls. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm going to get this reading out because people keep needing to talk to me for like no reason, actually. I'm getting a little irritated. Um, I could like freak out. <laughs> I was just talking about that. Uh, hopefully, I can post that too. Where are we? Venus, six tiling, Saturn, and Capricorn. So this could be like, we got to go take care of this. Um, or we, we're making a date, making a work date, or uh, designing a work party. <laughs> 25 is about making big changes. So you guys have got plans to change something up. Could be changing the foundation of something. Um, at... Saturn and Capricorn, Karma, Time, Lord. So you could be whatever you you decide to do. It's kind of like you're taking it easy. You're relaxing. This is definitely a relaxed feel. Um, letting things slide, but acknowledging that there's something that you need to do some work on. The Saturn and Capricorn, y'all. Yeah, uh, it's still... Hold on. So it could be like, I'll help you. Because it does equal seven. So it's like, we've let it go long enough. We've got to do something about it. All right, what do we do? Or when should we do it? And then we have Mars entering Pisces. No, I have not had a chance to channel anything all day. Like I said, I've been talking, and while I was filming, uh, began to film the beginning of the astrology, of course, I had two phone calls and a text message, so, uh, of course, I'll have to do two, two videos. I don't like doing two videos. It annoys me. <laughs> I like it all in one place. Okay, so the last transit for today, and I'm going to stop there, is Mercury enters Pisces, okay? Pisces is a sign of psychic revelation, and in Mercury, it gives you a subtle and intuitive mind, okay? It's like people don't know how you think because you're sensing information. <laughs> Pisces is very sensitive, sensitive, yeah? You can get uh, flashes and visions and dreams and just know stuff, okay? Uh, and your, your intuition will be accurate. Now, see deep sympathy and understanding for humankind but some of you guys uh some of you guys will pick up on the imagination and the creation energy from it and then some of you guys will have issues with self-confidence um you can you can be a little timid shy or confused um it's hard to think or do anything with the, all this noise and i'm <laughs> That's why. Okay, Mercury entering Pisces. No wonder I, I just like, I'm not that I'm freaking out, but like, really? <laughs> Everybody want to talk to me today. Okay, anyways, with Mercury entering Pisces, everyone has their own truth. Okay, think of it as the absent-minded professor. And you guys, just in case you didn't know, my, um, my Mercury... When it was in... Aquarius, it was still in my 12th house. So now that it's in the 12th house, it's moving into the first house. So I'll get a little bit of progress, but oh, there's a lot of talking in it too. Okay, Mercury is uh, communication. It is talking, thinking, listening. Ooh, I bent these cards, my God. Talking, ooh, talking, thinking, listening. Um, it's also travel, mind travel, physical travel, in a vehicle, in a wheeled vehicle. Entering Pisces. Pisces is 12th house. It's closure. It's unconditional love. It's secret. So, uh, maybe you, you might be like, I want to tell you a secret. The last time we had Mers, uh, Mars, Mars, <laughs> Mercury in Pisces. It went retrograde. Now, it's about to go retrograde on the 16th, and... Any day now, um, within the next week, you're going to start to feel the shadow coming in. Now, when Mercury goes retrograde, don't sign, don't buy, just wait. <laughs> Think about it. Um, don't publish. You know, make sure you cross your T's and dot your I's. Make sure um, 
because there's a tendency for things to go haywire. So Mercury and Pisces could be like the end of something. So if your car is on its last leg and you don't take care of it before it goes into retrograde, it could literally die, okay, because Pisces is death, but it's also prison and illusion. Anyways, with Mercury and Pisces, you're very reflective and contemplative um you could be like i said distracted because you're self-absorbed and you could be staring at the tv but not even looking at it looking past it okay you like to work things out alone in secret or by yourself oh my god a lot of cards we're gonna have to go through this really quickly guys because i am running out of time <laughs> i don't have all the time in the world hmm, that could be what venus and pisces uh venus six tiling saturn is I don't really have a lot of time. I need to get this done or time's running out. Could be, let me help you kind of deal. Okay, let's see. First card, journey, reverse. This is about, I wanna equate this to arrivals and departures. Journey is physically going on a trip. For some of you guys, you may not have wanted to go anywhere. You may not wanna go anywhere or there could be an issue that you're having with the vehicle. Saturn and Sagittarius. Ten of Wands, burden. Yeah, some of you guys don't have a car. Some of you guys are hitchhiking. There's um, questions of how am I gonna get this done? How am I gonna get here? How am I gonna get there? Um, so you could be in fact without a car for a minute. It could be that somebody else had borrowed it or you lent it to somebody else and they just kind of, I almost want to say took advantage of you. So somebody could have taken advantage of you. Or that could be stressing you in some kind of way. So you're limited in what you can accomplish and when you can accomplish because of no vehicle. Um, you may having to be depending on somebody else. And it could be very frustrating. Some of you guys are walking into some detours. There may be some detours um, on a trip. Let's see, I'm trying to look back over the weekend. <laughs> Sorry guys, excuse me. Saturn sex tile Pluto. What do you really want to do? I want to lay around. I want to phase out in my own mind. So sleeping. At your own pace. So you could have just done a couple of things and been like, you know, I'm satisfied. I, uh, I took care of some stuff. It doesn't all need to be done right now. Okay, so next cards, great fortune and occupation. We have number 26 and number 34. Great fortune is a reserve. It could be a break. It could be a windfall. This talks about abundance, okay? Trying to create abundance every day. Some of you guys are trying to create a passive income or at least trying to get a steady flow when it comes to your business, your home-based business. Some of you guys may have some seed money. You need to fill out some paperwork. I'm not sure if this is a bank loan or a seed money or like, uh, what is that? SBC, um, small business. I forget, what the, I forget what the last C stands for. S-B-C. The Small Business Community. So some of you guys could have got a grant. Some of you guys could be structuring. Flow. You guys could be getting bits and pieces here and there. And this feels like some kind of a re release. Some of you guys could be getting some kind of additional bonus or credit, added authority. Do we have that today? 
credit added authority. Or it could be that you're getting some respect. You're, you're getting some respect being known as a business person. Not too sure. Fool and the Hierophant from zero to five. Okay, so. A new control. A new control factor. The Fool is about starting shiny starting off new by yourself alone on a new path this is a fresh clean slate so this kind of looks like something that you've been waiting for for a long time it's finally here and you can begin to create The Fool is a brand new slate. It's Uranus energy. So it could be an unexpected surge, an unexpected resurgence. Or you could have a lot of information that you discover today. Hierophant is usually about tradition. Okay, it, it's a paradigm that controls a body of people. It can be government, religion. It's also institutions. I'm hearing institutions. Teachers and students. So this could be receiving some kind of form back or getting a yes answer. Could be like your copyright or your trademark or um, what would it be uh, known as DBA, doing business as. So some of you guys might be getting doing business as. Um, Getting your paperwork together, running, you know, dropping this off, picking this up. Hierophant can also be teacher and student. Government. Let me look at this. A new identity. Yeah, a new identity. So this could be like your trademark or you're doing business as. Some of you guys might not have known. Uh, what you were going to call your business, but now it's beginning to take shape. It's beginning to form. You've got the paperwork. You've got the name. You've submitted it. Now you got it back. That's the government saying, yep, it's a brand new you. So, you know, um, I was going to say check mark. Check that off your list. Done. You did what you were supposed to. Three of Cups is Mercury in Cancer. So that's that's intimacy, a meeting. Um, it's like a small, you know, a meeting with coffee, a meeting with drink, drinks, an intimate barbecue. What are we changing? A name change. Some of you guys are going for a name change. Putting your name on it. Hierophant is also number five. That's about boundaries, standards. A new standard. Mm, let me see. So you could be happy and toasting yourself for getting something major accomplished. Um, this feels like a milestone. A new milestone. Five of Swords, Three of Swords, and Ace of Cups. So this could be actually getting together. This could be a business meeting or this could be a date. A new prospect. New. A new team. So you could be also bringing in a new employee or a manager so there's a yes you receive some information or you receive a go-ahead some kind of form or information or um, it's literary it is on paper it could just be, you know, your to-do list, getting things done.
and then all of a sudden there's all these people coming in to talk to you. Some of them are friends. Hmm, yeah, definitely. Um, five of Swords, this can be a manipulation. It can be mind fuckery. Okay, so you could be really, really stressed out that a lot of people are trying to come in and talk to you. Some of them might be telling you their sorrows. Some of them might be telling you their woes. Or some of, some of them might be telling you what this paperwork is. I want to say it's some kind of legal paperwork. Yeah, they could be coming in and telling you about having to file or pick up their paperwork. Or they might be talking about new legal boundaries a little bit of a break so you can pursue your own interests ace of cups and that everything came out okay i did everything right i didn't blame anybody i wasn't sad about it so this is a very um well, the moon is in Gemini, so it's very rational thinking. Everything worked out all right. Um, you feel like it's fair. You went through with it. And you have the Ace of Cups. Happiness, success, fulfillment. Aces are blessings. So you're probably feeling pretty blessed that you can now move ahead. Courtship, number four. This is like recruiting, courting bonding and it's also verified verified um <laughs> clarified by the four of cups that's cancer energy okay so resurrection there might be somebody that's coming back from the past uh for some of you guys it could be an object like actually i haven't had my my blankie my blankie my favorite blankie i haven't had it for um well since the lava came and since the lava left it's been two years now and I got it the other day, and literally I was just so happy, that old, familiar feeling. And not to mention, there's other people that have popped up that I haven't seen for years, and I hadn't actually thought about them, but, you know, they're friends of mine. Okay, so, some of you, they might be wanting to come visit you, you might be talking story, having a cup of coffee, bringing back the past, remember when this happened. So you could have actually spoken with somebody over the weekend and do you remember when I met you or do you remember when it all started? Way back when. Okay, so you could have had a nice time and formed more bonds for some of you guys. You've been trying to bring back the memories. This is like, yeah, this is like a conversation. Do you remember when we or I remember when you I remember you. Four of Cups can also be about luxury. Remember when we used to have this? Like, um, I don't know, uh, let's throw it out there. Real to real uh, films, real to real music, you know, something. <laughs> and I say real because that's also the uh, Capricorn energy here, too. So you could be talking about the things you loved when you were a child, or you could have asked somebody, don't you like whatever it is that you brought back I'm running out of time guys okay emperor high priestess hermit two of wands prince of this mentor of cups fulfillment um let's see control power intuition mastering the self when it comes to goals We got to go do this. Let's do this together or we need to do this. So it looks like you guys have plans. You're going to be running errands or you might have to go somewhere. Somebody else had plans. Whatever the deal is, you guys literally lounge. Look at that. High Priestess and the Emperor, both you guys are chilling in a chair. One's chilling, thinking about work. And then here's this one full of love, just trying to be comfortable. Probably reading. So it was an enjoyable weekend in the cave. Cancer at home, hermit in the cave, plans. So you guys just plan to relax. Okay, guys, literally, I don't have any more time left. 
I will be back tomorrow, and tomorrow I can go a little bit more extensive. Okay, I'm going to pick one. I'm not going to pick it. I need to shuffle it. One Archangel. Okay, I guess I'm getting two. Three, four. Son of a gun. <laughs> okay, hello from heaven. Ooh, thinking about yesteryear. Archangel Azriel, your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. So yeah, the cancer thing here, remember when, and you guys could have been talking about other people you knew back when. All is well, Archangel Jeremiel. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. So if something's holding you back, there is a reason for it. Just breathe and take it easy. It will come. Oh, outdoors, go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress and grain, uh, grain, gain new creative ideas. Very nice one. Yeah, so, you know, like I said, you know, chilling at home, going outside every once in a while, walking in the bare, uh, walking barefoot in the grass, staring up at the stars, you know, just enjoying being in your safe space. And then the last card, remember who you are. <laughs> There's that Mufasa. Remember who you are. Oh, no, wait. That would be Rafiki. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. Okay, so yeah, you know, the four cups here, you could have been talking over memories. Remembering who you were. Remember the time we did this? Remember when we were six years old? Remember when that boy, you remember that guy, you know? <laughs> Just uh, going back to the good old days and enjoying and cherishing the memories. So I hope you guys had a good, relaxing weekend. I hope your Monday wasn't as hectic as mine, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.